Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up the automation for your weather precipitation delay for the Eve Aqua. If you haven't seen that review video, definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the top right. But we're going to show you what Eve gives you, and then I'm going to show you the shortcut to set this up automatically because no one wants to constantly check the weather and see if you need to turn off your watering and your irrigation system. Right, so we're going to first go into the Eve app, and we're going to go into the backyard hose, which is the Eve Aqua. And you can see here, you can set up the schedule. I briefly went over that in the review video, so if you want more information on that, definitely check that out. I'm um, just waiting for it to refresh. There it goes. So I only have one schedule. It's every single day going off at 6.15 each and every morning. Now, the only thing that Eve gives you is the suspension scenes, and when you turn that on, you have two options within HomeKit, deposit for today and then pause it for today and tomorrow. So once you turn that on, if you go back into HomeKit, You'll see parsing water today and parsing water tomorrow are there. Um, so that's going to delay your watering. It's going to turn it off for, I, I don't know if it's 24 hours or just until the next um, cycle. I'm not quite sure. Now, Eve does mention that you can use shortcuts to check weather and to automate the scene, but they don't tell you how to do it or anything. They don't give you any guidance, nothing. I've checked all the websites. There is nothing out there. And the way you do this is not through the shortcuts app there, but if you go down to automations, okay, I'm going to show you what it looks like first. Um, so at 515 daily, it's going to run to the shortcut. It's going to get the weather at my current location, which I'm blocking that out for my privacy. And then I'm scripting. If precipitation is greater than 70%, it's going to pause it today. And that's it. It's very simple. It runs automatically. I don't have to do anything else. So the way I did that is a little bit tricky, but let's start from the beginning. So we go into shortcuts and then at the very bottom hit automation here, you do hit create home kit automation it is a home automation not a personal automation and you're going to say a time of day occurs because you want it to happen at a specific time and we're going to say at 6 30 you can pick your own time whatever time you do you want you can do it multiple times a day it's all up to you depending on your schedule i'm just going to do it once a day every day of the week hit next now, if I say pause watering or pause watering today or tomorrow, it's going to put it in that scene every single day, and I don't want that. I want to check the weather first. So you scroll down through here, and you're thinking, okay, none of this is right. This is all your devices. But if you look at the very bottom, you have convert to shortcut. That's what we want. Now, this set scene in, order, uh, set scene in the accessories, you don't want. So you can X that out. <clears throat> Hit add action, and you're going to say get current weather. You're going to put in your current address. Of course, I'm blocking this out for my privacy. Hit done. Next, you want to say if. Now, here's some magic. You want to hit input, and you want to select magic variable. And it automatically does the weather, and you want to hit weather conditions. You want to change hit weather conditions again so you can change it and this is where you want to change it to precipitation chance and then condition you want uh, greater than or equal to whatever you want whatever you want so your preference to me it's 70 percent chance or greater it's going to put it into that delay scene hit done uh, hit plus and we're going to Control my smart home, and here we're going to put it in pause watering today scene. All right, we're going to move this scene up or this automation up. We're going to take out the other otherwise, otherwise, there's nothing else, and then leave in the if and if, and that's it. Hit next, hit done. And that's it. So now every day at 6.30 a.m. it's going to check the weather. If the precipitation is greater than 70%, it's going to automatically put it in the do not 
um, use today scene. Do not water today scene. And that's it, guys. So I hope that helped you. If you want to see the full review of the Eve Aqua, definitely check out that video right there. Thanks for watching.